From ancient curses to hidden societies, these shows bring to life the thrilling and often terrifying tales of werewolves, where moonlit transformations and primal instincts take center stage. So prepare to unleash your wild side as we dive into the captivating world of these shape-shifting creatures with the best TV shows about werewolves. A quick note before we start, keep in mind that in this countdown we're featuring only live-action series and that the shows are listed in no particular order. With that disclaimer out of the way, this is TV Show Pilot and here are our top 10 TV shows about werewolves. Teen Wolf We'll begin the list with probably one of the most well-known werewolf series, MTV's Teen Wolf. Inspired by the 1985 film of the same name, Teen Wolf follows the life of Scott McCall, a high school student who becomes a werewolf after being bitten in the woods. As Scott navigates his newfound powers, he must balance the challenges of teenage life with the dangers of the supernatural world which is that much harder to do since he lives in Beacon Hills, a small California town that's crawling with all kinds of supernatural creatures. With its blend of supernatural suspense, heartfelt moments, and a dash of humor, Teen Wolf has become a cult favorite among fans. So it's no wonder that in early 2023, Teen Wolf the movie was released and continues the story of Scott and his friends. Bitten. For a different take on the werewolf myth, we have the Canadian series Bitten, which focuses on a female werewolf. Based on the best-selling Women of the Otherworld book series by Kelly Armstrong, Bitten follows Elena Michaels, a Toronto photographer who is the only female werewolf in existence. Wanting to live a normal human life, Elena suppresses her wolf instincts. But when a murderous werewolf threatens the existence of her former pack, she is called back to upstate New York by her werewolf family to help find the killer wolf. So now Elena has to choose between helping them and living a normal life with her human boyfriend. And the matter is further complicated by the fact that Clayton, her ex-fiancé and the man who was responsible for her becoming a werewolf, is still in her former pack. Wolf Pack The newest show on this list is Paramount Plus's Wolf Pack. Based on an Edo Van Balcom book of the same name, Wolf Pack follows Everett and Blake, two teenagers who become werewolves after getting bitten by a werewolf during a highway traffic jam caused by a mysterious wildfire. They team up with two other teenagers who were turned into werewolves 16 years ago during a similar wildfire to find out more about these strange wildfires and unravel the secret that connects them. Also starring Buffy the Vampire Slayer vet, Sarah Michelle Gellar as an arson investigator who gets caught up in supernatural activities, Wolfpack is a must-watch show if you like werewolf tales. Hemlock Grove <laughs> We have two Netflix series, first of which is Hemlock Grove. Based on Brian McGreevy's novel of the same name and set in the eerie town of Hemlock Grove, this horror series follows the intertwining lives of its residents. This including the wealthy Godfrey family and the enigmatic Romantic family. When two young girls are brutally killed, the romantic 17-year-old son Peter becomes the prime suspect. Coming from a poor family and being rumored to be a werewolf, which he is, of course, he's determined to clear his name by solving the murders himself. Along the way, Peter gets some unexpected help from the heir to the Godfrey estate, and the two unlikely partners discover the dark secrets that their town harbors. The Order
Another Netflix show about werewolves is 2019's The Order. Set against the backdrop of a prestigious Belgrave University campus, The Order centers on freshman Jack Morton. But Jack isn't at Belgrave just to study. He's also seeking answers to the mystery surrounding his mother's death, which involves getting close to his estranged father, who also happens to be the leader of the Hermetic Order of the Blue Rose, a secret society of magic practitioners based out of Belgrave. As Jack becomes more involved with the Order, he finds that they are at war with the Knights of St. Christopher, yet another secret society, this time of werewolves, whose goal is to eliminate all dark magic users. Being Human. An interesting take on the supernatural genre is provided with BBC Three's Being Human. This British series follows the lives of three supernatural beings, a 200-year-old vampire named Aiden, a werewolf named Josh, and a ghost named Sally, who become unlikely housemates in an attempt to live a normal life. Together, they navigate the challenges of blending into society while also keeping their real identities hidden, dealing with their own inner struggles and facing various supernatural threats. The series beautifully combines elements of horror, comedy, and drama to explore themes of friendship, redemption, and what it means to be human. And if you like the sound of this show, then you might also like to check out the North American version of Being Human that aired on Sci-Fi from 2011 to 2014. Shadow Hunters. It's the iron one. Shadow Hunters is yet another show based on a series of books, this time the Mortal Instruments novels written by Cassandra Clare. The show follows Clary Frey, a young woman who on her 18th birthday discovers that she comes from a long line of shadow hunters, human-angel hybrids tasked with protecting humans from demons. As Clary learns to navigate the downworld, the hidden supernatural part of the world inhabited by shadow hunters and downworlders, which includes creatures like warlocks, fair folk, vampires, and yes, werewolves, she begins to unravel the mysteries of her past. And with the help of her newfound shadow hunters family, best friend Simon, and mom's boyfriend Luke, who turns out to be a werewolf, Clary works to keep the human world safe from demons and other dark forces that threaten it. The Vampire Diaries. And we'll finish this list with a trio of shows that live in the same universe, starting with the show that began it all, The Vampire Diaries. Based on the book series of the same name written by L.J. Smith, The Vampire Diaries starts out focusing primarily on vampire lore and the budding love triangle between two vampire brothers, Damon and Stefan Salvatore, and a human, Elena Gilbert. However, it soon evolves to include werewolf mythology where it's revealed that some families, like the Lockwoods, are born with the gene and trigger it when they kill for the first time, whether accidental or not. The Vampire Diaries gained such a following that it eventually led to two spin-off series. The Originals. Come on. She's still not breathing. It's not working. The Originals was the first spin-off. Departing from the teen drama setting of Mystic Falls, the originals follows the political turmoil between supernatural creatures in the French Quarter of New Orleans. The originals is the name given to the very first family of vampires in existence, the Michelsons. So this spin-off focuses on the Michelson family as they navigate the complex dynamics of the supernatural factions in the city, form alliances, and confront ancient enemies. When the Michelsons first showed up on the Vampire Diaries and wreaked havoc in Mystic Falls, it was revealed that Klaus, the de facto head of the original family, is actually a vampire-werewolf hybrid. 
And during the originals, we also see Klaus grapple with fathering a child with werewolf Haley, which is where the second spin-off comes in, Legacies. The third series in the Vampire Diaries universe, Legacies picks up two years after the events in the originals. True to its title, Legacies follows the next generation of supernaturals as they learn to control their powers at the Salvatore School for the Young and Gifted. But when monsters start attacking the school, the students have to band together to protect it. At the center of the show is Klaus and Haley's 17-year-old tribrid daughter, Hope, who is part werewolf, part vampire, and part witch, and just might be the key to defeating Malivore, the ancient evil capable of erasing supernatural creatures from existence. Do you agree with our picks for the top TV shows about werewolves? Let us know in the comments. Check out tvshowpilot.com for the full list of the best werewolf series. And don't forget to subscribe to the TV Show Pilot YouTube channel for more videos like this.